Hey guys, what's up? I'm just doing a quick um, collection update video. Um, real quick, show you some things that I picked up on. Also, this ridiculous score that I got from a yard sale um, that I believe was probably sold by mistake, and I'll go over that more in a second. But first, I want to show you this Legend of Zombie t shirt I got. Um, I can't remember the website, but I'll post it below. Uh, this website sells uh, other zombie-related Nintendo classic things like um, I think they had Zombies Dreamland and Kirby Parody. They got Zombie Man, uh, Mega Man Parody, of course. Um, but this is the one I was interested in here, The Legend of Zombie. This is just too cool. He's got you know the blood all over the place, um, eating a uh, life heart. I thought that was kind of really funny. You got your fairy back there. Um, just real. I like the detail they did with this. Um, but it's a really cool shirt. But I'll try and put the uh, link down there so you can go check out the other things they have for sale. Um, here is what I got through get a better view of this stuff for you guys. Through a garage sale. And I believe that what happened here is probably some kid went to college um, and his parents basically sold his collection and he's probably gonna get home for Christmas break or something realize that all these games are sold to somebody for two dollars each and freak out um, I mean real quick we'll just go over this you got hook um, not the best game it's kind of a platformer it's it's pretty enjoyable I remember liking it as a kid but really the thing that sold me on that well I mean I bought the whole lot because it's just it's a freaking collection but um, this one had an incredible soundtrack I remember really liking the uh, music they put to that game. Final Fantasy 3, uh, 6, this game is another incredible RPG, which I mean Super Nintendo is known for. This thing is incredible. Also you got Super Mario World um, 2, Yoshi's Island. If anybody played this they'll remember um, probably hating Baby Mario because he cries all the time. Uh, but another really super fun game, Super Mario Kart, um, just a pretty much a Super Nintendo staple. Secret of Mana, ridiculously fun RPG, probably my favorite for the Super Nintendo. Um, multiplayer, you got this really cool ring um, style inventory system that I really liked. Um, they say you either hate it or love it. Um, I mean, that, that aspect of the game, I freaking loved it. I thought it was incredible. Um, really fluid play. It's, uh, it's not turn-based, so it's, you know, real-time fighting mechanics there. Um, Smart Ball, I remember playing this a little bit, I don't re super remember the game, I'm going to have to throw it in my Super Nintendo and check it out, but um, I remember renting it a couple times, um, it's probably a pretty fun game. This is uh, one of those games that pretty much gives it away that I was buying someone's collection, because anybody who knows what this game is, is just, they're not going to sell it for $2 in a lot, Super Nintendo bin. Um, Chrono Trigger, probably, uh, just, you know, just another incredible RPG. Um, this one, actually, I don't know why I put this in there. I didn't pick this up at a garage sale, but however, I did recently get this, uh, from someone who makes these. This is a clock tower, only released in Japan, um, possibly UK, but I know definitely in Japan. We didn't get it here in America, but this one is done. It's got all the English, uh you know, text in it. Um, it is another original survival horror games and uh, really super fun. I've seen a couple really good reviews on YouTube. Um, if you're interested in this game, definitely check them out. It's a really cool game and I'm glad to have that. Um, but continuing with this ridiculous collection I bought, I remember playing this and really liking it. Um, Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighter. It's a, like a fighting game, but with Ninja Turtle characters. Uh, you got Clay Fighter, another fighting game, but with a really cool, like, claymation style. Um, I really liked playing that. Mr. Frosty, I remember being pretty, pretty badass. Uh, Super Punch-Out, it is your super version of the NES's Punch-Out. A uh, great game, just, you know, a little bit better here on the Super Nintendo. Star Fox, um, you know, what can I say about Star Fox? It's ridiculous. I love this video game. Um... Star Fox and The Legend of Zelda actually have so many ties, but yeah, the the game is just incredible. You got F-Zero, another SNES staple. 
um, kind of the series that kicked off the Paper Mario's, the whole RPG aspect, The Legend of the Seven Stars, um, that game is, I remember loving this game, playing so much, um, speaking of which, I just recently got this game, and I like it, I'll probably talk more about it later in another video, but nothing too incredible. Uh, you got your Super Street Fighter 2, uh, these are just Super Nintendo staples of course, your All Stars, um, Super Star Wars, that's the one where Luke Skywalker jumps like Metroid, or for, like Samus from Metroid. You got your Donkey Kong Country, this game's got a little bit of dirt on it, but whatever, it's another Super Nintendo staple, yeah, and it works fine. Mario Paint, and I did get the um, mouse, however, it did not have the mouse pad with it, so. I got, this would be my third copy of The Legend of Zelda um, on the SNES. As you can see, the others being boxed up, um, I don't play those, so it's nice to have one that I can have out of a box and just play whenever I want. I'm just kidding. Nothing really new there as far as the collection goes. Um, Illusion of Gaia, another ridiculously good RPG for the Super Nintendo. Mega Man X, um, another insanely classic Mega Man game. I loved this game so much. Great music, great platformer. Ridiculously hard, as all Mega Mans are. Uh, NHL 95, this was probably the, the oddest one, because I mean, it doesn't really have any rhyme or reason for this collection. Um, it's a fun game. I love NHL video games on the Super Nintendo. However, it's definitely not like a collection title, but it's cool. I'm, I'm glad to have it. Super Street Fighter 2, um, the Alpha. This was the one where they introduced all the kind of secondary characters that we see in the newer games today. My number one favorite SNES video game of all time, Super Nintendo uh, Super Metroid. This game is freaking awesome. I loved this game so much, and I still do. I played it probably a couple weeks ago, and I actually watched a speed run where somebody beat it in, I think it was like 30 minutes or 45 minutes, and that was so entertaining to watch somebody like just have this game down to such a like professional level. Um, I found that really fun to watch. Some other just kind of throwaway titles, whatever, Jurassic Park, SimCity, another Super Nintendo staple. This one, super fun game, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, love that game. Uh, and of course your, your must-have for every Super Nintendo, Super Mario World. So that was it. Um, so I pretty much just bought all those and left as quickly as possible because I know that I was getting a ridiculous deal. Um, Oh yeah, the Game Genie also got that as well. No book, but still, I'm glad to have that. I'll probably buy the books on like eBay or something, try and find them for cheap. But um, that's that on that part of the collection. Um, also, another real quick update on the Zelda stuff. I did find Link's Awakening strategy guide, and I do have um, a Link to the Past, the original one. So those will actually complete out the the strategy guide collection there. Also have the American version of Hyrule Historia on the way. Um, so that, that'll be really cool to have. Have something I can actually read and not have to look up on the internet like translations for it. Um, another couple small things that I got is this uh, iPhone case with a Skyward Sword. It's whatever. I don't really care about it. But um, you know, it does have the Skyward Sword, which I also have from Club Nintendo coming the really nice print that they send out for the, uh, I think it's the Elite members for Nintendo Club. Um, so I got that. Should be coming a little bit after Christmas. Um, of course, this is the kind of new layout that I have for the collection here. Kind of pan back a little bit. But all the games there in the middle, I got my um, other stuff that you guys have seen in the other videos and all the kind of the, the better things here on top displayed my game and watches, Super Nintendos, all the CDIs um, and the last thing that I got this new is this original handbill from uh, Japan's release of the very first Zelda the Hyrule Fantasy um, on the disc system this is really cool the artwork on that is straight from the uh, 
the book there. Sorry about that glare, but this I was just I got it for a great price. It's really nice condition. There's no like folds, bends. It's you know another cardstock thing. I love it. I put it in like a see-through thing so that you can look at the back. It's got some other advertisements for the disc system at the time, but I'm really excited to have that. I also have a bunch of really cool figures coming from Skyward Sword that are just being released right now, or actually I have them on pre-order, but they should be coming up I think at the end of November that I'll uh, show you, that I'll kind of go with my other figures here. But um, I have all those videos kind of coming up, and I was thinking about doing maybe five or ten minutes on each Legend of Zelda game and kind of quickly talking about um, you know how old I was, memories I had of the game, um, and you know that can take a little while there so we'll probably separate that up per game um, and of course we'll have a very intricate commentary of The Legend of Zelda no I'm just kidding I probably won't do that I won't put anybody through that torture this is as bad as television gets right here but The Legend of Zelda so of course you know, it has it made it its way here um, anyways, that's pretty much it for right now. Um, I will keep you guys updated with some more videos, and uh, thanks for watching.